Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritez Dolakia, is going to explain you 1 to 4 demultiplexer in this session. And to understand 1 to 4 demultiplexer, I request you to go through my previous video based on demultiplexer. So that will improve your understanding regarding 1 to 4 demultiplexer. Now see, in this video, I'll be going to explain you how 1 to 4 demultiplexer functions, what will be the truth table of 1 to 4 demultiplexer, then we will derive Boolean expressions of 1 to 4 demultiplexer and at the end I'll explain you the basic circuit which is there with 1 to 4 demultiplexer. So let us try to understand first what is 1 to 4 demultiplexer. So from its name itself we can say see this one indicates there is one input and this 4 indicates there are 4 outputs right so see there is one input and four outputs and if you compare this 1 to 4 d multiplexer with standard form of 1 to 2 to the power n d mux in that case we can clearly say see 4 is what 2 to the power 2 means n is equals to 2 here and n is equals to 2 means there are two selection lines so as n is equals to 2 means what there are two selection lines right now let us try to understand this 1 to 4 d multiplexer first with its basic block so as per this understanding if i say this is my basic block which is there with 1 to 4 d multiplexer in that case it has one input let us say input is i there are total four outputs let us say those outputs are y0 y1 y2 and y3 so we have total four outputs now as we have calculated n is equals to two selection lines we have two selection lines s1 and s0 and we should not forget very important terminal over here that is enable terminal so this is e enable terminal now let us try to understand first how this demultiplexer circuit functions so see as if this enable terminal if it is equals to zero in that case no matter what are the selection lines output will stays zero so all outputs y0 y1 y2 y3 that will be zero in case of enable is equals to zero but when enable is equals to one in that case with selection lines there are total four possibilities if selection line s1 s0 that is zero zero then input will get transferred to output y0 and other output will stays zero if s1 s0 that is 0 1 in that case input will get transferred to y1 and other output will stays 0 provided enable is equals to 1 if selection line that is equals to 1 0 enable is equals to 1 in that case input will get transferred to y2 and all other output will stay 0 and if s1 s0 that is 1 1 in that case this input will get transferred to y3 and all other output will stays 0 so the see this is how this 1 2 4 demultiplexer functions so let us make truth table of 1 2 4 demultiplexer so here we have enable terminal s1 and s0 selection line and then we have four outputs y0 y1 y2 and y3 now as i have explained see if enable is zero then no matter what are the selection line output will stays zero but when enable is one there are total four possibilities which is there with s1 as zero it can be zero zero it can be zero one it can be one zero or it can be one one so when enable is one selection is zero zero output y0 will get selected right so y0 is equals to i input and other output will stay 0 
if enable is 1 and s1 as 0 is 0 1 then y1 will get selected so y1 is equals to y and other output will stay 0 if enable is 1 selection is 1 0 y2 will get selected from input so y2 is equals to i and other output will stay 0 when enable is 1 and selection is 1 1 then y3 will get selected at output side so y3 is i and other output will stay 0 see this is how basic truth table that is there along with 1 2 4 demultiplexer now let us write boolean expressions over here so from boolean expressions we can easily identify circuit so if you see what is my output y0 so y0 that will be equals to input i provided enable is equals to 1 and selection line s1 as 0 both are 0 0 means both are bar if you see my output y1 so y1 is equals to i input provided enable is equals to 1 and selection s1 as 0 that is 0 1 so s1 is bar and as 0 that is how it is there if you see output y2 so that is input i into enable is equals to 1 and if you observe s1 as 0 so that is 1 0 so s0 is bar over here and if you see my output y3 so that is equals to input i with enable is equals to active high and if you see s1 as 0 so both are 1 so s1 as 0 so see this 4 and gate with 4 terminal we can make 1 to 4 demultiplexer circuit over here so for that see first of all let us say we have 4 and gate so here I am making 4 AND gate. This is first AND gate that is having output Y0. This is my second AND gate that is having output Y1. This is third AND gate that is having output Y2. And this is fourth AND gate that is having output Y3. Right. Now here if you observe this input i is there so let us say this is what i which we have and this input i that we are connecting with all end gates so here i am connecting this with all end gates you see now if you observe here this enable line so that is even connected with all end gates so if i say this is my enable line so that is even we are connecting with all AND gates. So this is even uh, input of all AND gates. Now see with selection there are two possibilities. Here let us say this is S1 and here let us say this is S0. And with S1 S0 we are connecting this with one inverter so this is inverted s1 and s0 inverted line that is this right now here see for y0 s1 s0 that is inverted line right so s1 and s0 both are inverted line for y0 right for y1 s1 bar s0 is there so s1 bar that is this line and s0 that is this line for y2 you see s1 is active high and s0 is inverted line and for y3 you see s1 and s2 both are active high line so s0 that is active high and s1 that is even active high so that is how we can easily form circuit of 1 to 4 demultiplexer right and see this 1 to 4 demultiplexer that is what we can even say it is transferring serial to parallel with four parallel lines right 
and output is selected depending on selection line only right so this is how basic operation which is there with 1 to 4 d multiplexer i hope that you have understood this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions are highly required and based on your suggestions only in future i am going to make videos